Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Welcome to another redstone tutorial. I'm Fizzman. I hope you guys are having a super fantastic day. I am having a super fantastic day. And today we're just going to do a simple, quick redstone tutorial on repeating um, circuit. Really simple. And here you can see I have uh, a couple applications. And this one is just like an airport uh, set of lights. And the circuit just repeats the signal all the way down in a nice pattern that, that flows really in, on a good constant basis. Let me just peel up here. And you can see this just like that. And we start from way down at the bottom here. And it just rolls out. And then kicks in and just kind of goes in that pattern. Now down here I have another uh, little use case. Uh, just some lamps. Um, and they just blink on and off, on and off. Pretty simple. And over here we have some pistons. And this one is set up really, really long. Uh, just so that you can kind of see the visual of what is going on here. And so the redstone signal comes out. We hit a comparator that is uh, set to subtract mode. I always call this inverted mode. I, d I don't know why, but I guess it's subtract mode. Uh, into another uh, comparator, which then comes out a repeater. Um, and this one's set to four ticks. Again, it doesn't have to be four ticks. I just set it to four ticks so that um, you can kind of see the pattern that goes on here. And so you can see it flowing down there. Redstone signal off, hits that piston, ignites it, puts it up, and follows it all the way back down. It comes back around. Hits that comparator, the comparator turns off again. It just kind of does this big loop and it does the loop all the way until you turn it off and it'll do one final loop here and come back around and that's it turn that one back on now here's the lighting system or, or lights uh, that we have for that and this one's you can see is a lot smaller so you give it a signal uh, the comparator on subtract mode uh, runs into this comparator shifts it into the repeater, sends the pulse, circles it back around to this repeater. Now this repeater is here just so that the red snow signal doesn't go back into this uh, comparator. I'm sure you can come out with the redstone maybe a little bit more and maybe that would work as well but I haven't tried that. So it goes into this uh, little block here which houses the lamps. Uh, they're all set on repeaters. You guys probably all know that stuff. Um, and so then this is the uh, uh, the airport lighting system example. And this is just the same sort of thing. Two comparators, repeater, into two more repeaters. And that just gives it a little bit more delay um, so I could slow this down a little bit um, and give it just a nice cool effect. One cool thing about this, this as well, daylight sensor here. In this area right that turns all that off now once we hit the nighttime this should all start turning back on once that once that moon starts cresting back up this should all start turning back on and we'll just kind of circle with this for sake of the video <laughs> hopefully there it goes you know, so just a really easy switching mechanism that allows uh, for a nice repeating um, uh, pattern. So guys, here is another use case. This is a dispenser hopper setup. And basically what it is, is it's connected to the comparator. Uh, so when there's an item in the dispenser, the comparator lights up and sends a signal out through the repeaters uh, and then back into the dispenser and kicks it out. So if we come over here and we put an item into the dispenser, you can see it kicks it out. Now I have this set to four ticks on each repeater uh, just to slow things down, but you can definitely change that to speed things up uh, if you certainly need to. So guys, to build out this circuit, it's very, very simple. Again, we're taking a comparator, putting it on subtract mode, putting another comparator in front of it with a redstone repeater, 
after that. We come out a redstone dust down to a second repeater back into the comparator and out with our lead. There it is. Now this lead can be anything. Again, it can be a redstone torch. It can be a uh, bug uh, switch. It could be a redstone block. So guys, that is it for our redstone tutorial. Very simple repeating or pulsating circuit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything regarding the circuit or anything I've done in the past, please feel free to ask it in the comments below. As always, everybody, have a super fantastic day. I'm going to have a super fantastic day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.